That was a feast as it was slow, and on that peck there was um, turn the beat around. Porta Plata, red sleeves on the inside as one of the early leaders. Broadlands is also handy with them. Turn the beat around is in the lighter blue in the center of your picture. They followed by Queen Britannia who runs behind that lot. What say you is back there at the rail and a few off the leader. Fast duty is tugging away. You can see the rider bobbing that head up and down over there at Fast Duty and Cabello Mazzagnani. Prime example in the red colours back there at the fence and about seven, eight off the leader. Hephaestus behind them. Wonder World further back and streets ahead's the trailer as they go through to the far point and that's at the 1400 metre mark. Turn the beat around has got to the lead by a length and a bit. From in the second spot to Broadlands, there's a length and a half uh, separating those two now. Then Porta Plato is back there at the rail with uh, Queen Britannia back in the fourth spot, being followed by Big Five and Fast Duty alongside each other. Wonder World in the white about seven, eight off the leader, being followed by Prime Example. What say you is just inside of them in the green colours. Hephaestus came under the whip and streets ahead and the yellow blinkers is outside of runners. They are homeward bound and they're currently at the 700. Turn the beat around is in front. Broadlands is racing away in second. Porta Plata is going through on the inside. Big five. Green Britannia is looking to move up as Queen Britannia with two lengths to find here on Broadlands as they come to the final 300. So Broadlands in front, Queen Britannia is in second, Porto Plata back on the inside, turn the beat around is further back but it's still Broadlands as they come into the final 150 prime example becomes the danger up on the far inside and Porto Plata is trying to wear it down now, Broadlands but prime example is looking to edge into the lead into the closing stages here prime example come through to win today broadlands behind that queen britannia and they were followed by wonder world Porta Plata is in the striped cap far left hand side prime example goes for home and broadlands in the middle they have 200 meters to go prime example goes for its business whip comes out time run well and picks it up to win full of run. For the Ash Fortune Stable, good to see them in the winner's enclosure, and they stay on best to deny the rest. That's the fourth opening leg of the first part, jackpot. Just an update from the boardroom, there's uh, those on course will know there's a bit of activity with lightning here at the bar. Number five, prime example, gets that maiden this afternoon. Well done to Ashley Fortune. She owns a, a leg of this horse here. Mr. Chinsami, that's a nice double for him. The other owners as well. We'll chat to them in a short while. But uh, Ryan Munger aboard this afternoon. This one bred by Ridgemont. And, uh, yeah, Ryan, you've ridden, of course, quite a few times. But, oh, the blinkers off today did the job. Yeah, exactly. Um, blinkers off the last time when I rode him. He, he kind of travelled a little bit harder than I wanted him to in the race. And he just petered out. He didn't really have his usual kick. And um, so, yeah, I said to Ash... Actually, this morning, I said, let's take the blinkers off. Let's take a... Tr let's so, but before you came on, was it your fault to put them on in the first place? You know, the first time <laughs> he had the blinkers on, I will take probably uh, the, the, the thing there, he, he ran a cracking yeah, second. Did. So, you, horses, they can confuse you every now and then. So, he gives us misconception because he's such a big horse that he's one pace and he wants to be up at the speed. But, you know, his best runs, for me, I felt he wants to be chasing them. So, today, I just, from the draw... I just said, let's sit midfield, maybe just behind midfield. They actually went a very nice pace, at least on this track. It's a lovely long straight, so you've always got time to make it up. And, yeah, with the blinkers off, he switched off nicely. And, you know, he, he really started rolling nicely at the end. And he's, he's won a game race. You know, he's, he's run a lot of places, but he's always been a nice earner for the yard. Certainly has. Well done. Nice ride. Yeah, thank you very much, Lyle. Before I forget, the Fortune team, thank you for their continued support. You know, it's nice that the yard is starting to pick up again, so thank you so much to them. And, um, yeah, just everyone involved, uh, Caitlin, who's here, she's going to talk, Mr. Chinsami, Rishen, all the other owners involved, if I forgot to mention you, thank you very much. And before I forget, my sponsor, Bryanson Auctioneers, the best auctioneers around. You know, if you want to sell, they, they really deal with, the best stuff they deal with is like antique things. So if, you, right. if that's your game, you go to them. All right, we'll, see, we'll send Andrew there. All right, uh, Ashley, please step in here. Well done, Ash, lovely. And uh, first thing I've got to take you on, Andrew didn't do the jump. I know you say he's got a bad back, but come on, he's been jumping on horses for how many years? Yeah, but uh, after, after today's when he's got to get in an ice bath because he said if this horse ever wins a race, that will be oh. his, um, his, his bar, end of the deal. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that later. Well done. But Jano, just well done to all of the owners involved in this horse, Dale and Rishan, Caitlin, Dino, 
Um, I'm not sure if there's anyone else. Uh, just a lovely ride from Ryan. And well done to you in the stable ticks. We need these winners and particularly these uh, maidens. And I uh, can't wait to see him, him suffer. Well done. Yeah, it, it is, you know, when you go through a little bit of a dip, you, you start questioning your sanity, uh, let alone everything else. But yeah, just well done to the whole team for sticking it through and just knuckling down and, and working together. And I just want to say thank you to our, our sponsors, World Sports Betting. Thank you so much. Awesome, thank you. Well done, Ash. Caitlin, please pop in here and have a chat to us. No, no, that, that's not for the other. I suppose you are no, no, but you have to give it at the end. So, Caitlin, if you'll come in first. Jesus, you see how quick Andrew was to take that check. My goodness. Well done. Uh, lovely. Shame. Thank you so much, Lali. He's always been an honest campaigner. Um, we were doubting the win, um, and we were all having bets, and if he wins, we'll do this and that. So Uncle Andy is going down the vol straight after the last. Yay. Um, just if anyone wants to watch. We do. Yeah, but uh, I just want to say thanks to the, the Fortune Yard and to Ryan. He rode a beautiful race, and yeah, they're awesome. Lovely. Now, please, will you accept this check from Charlie? RA, not uh, Andrew. Uh, Ash, you can come in because you're one of the owners. Well done to you guys. And RA, 7,500 Rand bonus check. Thank you, ladies, and well done. Congratulations. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, ROA. And anyone interested, uh, Andrew Fortune's going to be running down from the 1,000 meter mark after racing today. I can promise you I'll be standing at that rail and laughing. 5, 9, 10, and 6. That's how they run here. Race number 4. Race 5, Jackpot 2 coming up next.